I'm not saying this man is a false prophet. I want to be clear. I don't listen to too much of his messages, but I did try to listen to other, tried to listen to other messages, and I got the same vibe with what I'm about to say about this particular message. This, this message is called The Realities of the Holy Spirit. I think the message was done last year, 2019. I didn't make the video because I was just confused. Is this how this guy teaches? And so... Uh, does he preach truth or does he just administer confusion? That's the question that we want to ask. And so I'm going to, we're going to listen to this message. It's a small little clip that I took out of that particular message, the realities of the, of the Holy Spirit. And so I'm going to play it right now. Okay. For us, he covered us. Jesus is. So all of these things are your roles to your wife. So he's talking about authority here at this particular part so this is what you do this is what you are as a husband to your wife and then he gave us his name and with that name there are possibilities that would not have happened but he brought us into that name the name is not a pronunciation the name is an office the name is not j-e-s-u-s -S. that's why you called it and nothing happened then so you called Jesus and nothing happened. It's not that. That's what. Name is an office. It's, it's a language of governance. It's a name. And the name is not Jesus. The name is Lord. Lord is the office that Jesus entered at his resurrection. Not the name. The earth is the... The Lord said to my... That was the coronation. We are Bible people. So, you see... So you you just highlight something like that, and then you go on and you start teaching something else. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, so the name is not Jesus; it's Lord. It's Lord a name. He says no, it's an office. Then what's the name? <laughs> because Acts chapter number four, I think it's about verse twelve. It makes a big deal about the name. Now, if you understand it, it's fine. For me, the, the reason why I don't listen to preachers like this is because they minister confusion more than they minister truth. Because it sounds like a revelation, but more, que it's questionable. He is saying that it's not about the name. That's why you called it nothing happened. <laughs> How do I, as a Christian, who believes that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. I'm being told it's not about the name. It's about Lord. You called it, nothing happened. How do you accept that? If you, if you listen to him, it's okay. You can continue listening to him. But whenever, the reason, the reason why I say I can't listen to people like this is these are people that you never really mature. When you are listening to them, you never really mature. It's always mysterious. The teaching is always mystery, mystery, mystery. It's just, they just keep... The scripture is not for private interpretation. The scripture tells you what it is. But because this confusion preaching of wanting newer revelation, newer revelation, they end up regurgitating things like this. It's not the name. This is you call it, nothing happens. I can never get over that. If a preacher says that to me, I'm not listening to you. What am I listening to you for? That was the same kind of preaching that my mentor, when I was with theology priest, and I said, no. You are wrong. It ends there. Until you correct that one, ah, me and you, we are cool. And so, for me, if you wanted to know, this is why I don't listen to, to preachers like this. Why? You never feel like you are maturing. You never feel like you are growing. Because there is always question. You thought the name was a big, ah, no, it's not the name. It's about the office. The office is Lord. The earth is the Lord. <laughs> oh, what? What are you teaching? That's the same thing that I hear from people like this guy. It's that, it's this idea that you, you never really know anything. Even if you thought you know the name Jesus. Ah, no, it's not the name. It's Lord. Tomorrow they have a new revelation. And so they will keep, so basically, it's this swelling roundabout situation where you never feel as if you are maturing. For me, that's a tick. That's, that's the point when I know that uh, I don't want to be listening to this person. Why? If I know the name today, tomorrow it might change. In case you are not understanding what the point of this video is. Is that the Bible says, by at the mention of the name, 
every knee shall bow. The Jews dare not even mention the name. That's why they call, it, they call him Hashem. They call God Hashem. And as they call him Hashem, the, the, the word Hashem means name, the name. It doesn't even, <laughs> it means the name. And so they dare not mention the name. It's not that they don't know that his name is Jehovah. They know, but they, they do not want to mispronounce. Now we have other people who want to further confuse the matter. Even when we now know the name, it's no longer a shadow. No, he wants us to go back. This is why you might never see a particular video about preachers like this. Because these type of preachers, they are self-endorsed preachers. They are self-wise. They are wise outside of the scripture. The Bible says the name. No, he says, no, it's not the name. It's Lord. Lord is the office. But my friend, get away. So it's, that's my view. Ne? For me, people like that, they take me off because you will never grow. It feels like you are always a child. And I have a problem with people that think of other believers like that. That think other believers can never outgrow a particular level where I'm learning from you and I can go on to read the Bible for myself. You can never read the Bible for yourself and get the thing that he's saying. It's a personal revelation. And so most of his messages are there like that. They are just revelation, revelation. So for me, I can't listen to people like that because... It's never really something that I can pick from the Bible. It's always what I have to just take what the man says. You will never feel like you're growing. It's Ricky and I'll see you later. Other videos that will be done in the pinned comments and I'll see you later. Be good. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of commentary. If you don't, it's okay. You can go on with your life. It's Ricky. Salute. <laughs>